children, welcome to Interclass. Let's learn them English. Today we are going to continue reading Alibaba and 40 Thieves. Сьогодні ми продовжуємо читати Alibaba і 40 розбійників. It's one of the most familiar tales from a collection of Middle Eastern and South Asian stories and folk tales. Це одна з найбільш відомих розповідей з колекції народних казок Близького Сходу і Південної Азії. But in the third chapter there may be some words that you may not know. Але у третьому розділі можуть бути слова, які ви не знаєте. Let's look at them and learn. Давайте їх вивчимо. Now let's look at the words that we may find in this chapter. Number one is servant. Служник. To explain. Пояснювати. Sold. Сіль. To cut. Різати. Piece. Шматок. To scare. Лякати. Cobbler. Чоботар. To sew up. Зшивати – to bury. Закопувати – to blindfold. Зав'язувати очі. Let's read them one more time. Servant – to explain. Salt – to cut. Peace – to scare. Cobbler – to sew up, to bury, to blindfold. And now we have the task to translate these words from Ukrainian into English. Служник is a servant. Пояснювати To explain. Сіль. Salt. Різати. To cut. Шматок. Peace. Лякати. To scare, to butar, cobbler, zshivati, to sew up, zakupuvati, to bury, zavyazuvati ochi. To blindfold. Well, now you are ready to start reading and listening to the story. Тож тепер ви готові почати читати і слухати історію. Enjoy it and be attentive. Насолоджуйтесь. At Ali Baba's house, a young woman opens the door to Kasim. She's Morjana, Ali Baba's new servant. Kasim asks his brother, Where's this gold coin from? Ali Baba explains. Later, Kasim visits the cave. Open sesame! he says, and goes in. It's my treasure now, he cries. The cave door closes behind him.
open salt, he says when he wants to leave. But the cave door doesn't open. When the thieves arrive, they find Kasim. They kill him angrily. <laughs> Cut his body into four pieces, their chief, Arshad, says. Do more people know about our cave? This dead body can scare them and stop their visits. Later, Ali Baba finds Kasim's body. He takes it back home. Perhaps the thieves can find and kill me now, he says. Help! What can I do? Kasim's very ill. Tell everybody, Morjana says. The cobbler, Baba Mustafa, can come and sew up Kasim's body. Then we can bury it. So, Morjana blindfolds Baba Mustafa. She brings him to Ali Baba's house. He sews up Kasim's body. Then, Morjana blindfolds him and takes him back home. After that, the family buries Kasim. Now the thieves can't find me, Ali Baba thinks happily. Or can they? After finishing reading this chapter, you have a task. После прочитания цього розділу ви маєте завдання. Let's check how you understood the story. Давайте перевіримо, як ви зрозуміли історію. Be attentive. Now you have to put the events into the correct order. Ви маєте поставити події у правильний порядок. The first event was... Ali Baba tells Kasim all about the treasure. Then... Kasim goes to the cave and says, open sesame. Thirdly, Kasim is excited when he first sees the treasure. Fourthly, Kasim forgets to say open sesame, he can't leave. After that, the thieves find Kasim in the cave and kill him. Then, The thieves cut Kasim's dead body into four pieces. The next event is... Ali Baba goes to the cave and finds Kasim's body. After that we have... Ali Baba takes Kasim's dead body home. Next is... Baba Mustafa sews up the dead body. And finally... Kasim's family bury his body. 
Well done! It's time to finish our lesson and have some rest. See you in a week when we start the next chapter. Take care and goodbye! Hi everyone, this is Teen Time with Into Class. My name is Alexey and today we are going to talk about music. We will take a look at different music styles, boost your vocabulary about people who have attitude to music, and we will study how to describe a good song. Actually, music is the most powerful thing. So in this video presentation you will see who creates music and what makes it interesting. Watch it attentively. Music is not the same as a song. Music is a general category. A song is a specific piece of music. Music is uncountable, a song is countable, and it has plural. People who are connected with it. A singer, a band, a choir, an orchestra a conductor, a musician, performer, and a fan. A person who leads a musical ensemble is called a conductor. A group of musicians who play for the audience is called a band, an organized company of singers, a choir, a person who loves a particular band or a singer is a fan. And now let's talk with you type of musical instruments. There are different types – percussion instruments, drums, cymbals, tambourine or triangle, wind instruments, trumpet, flute, clarinet, trombone, and string instruments, a guitar, a violin, a harp or a cello. Now you have to look at these pictures and try to tell what instrument is a percussion one. Yeah, you're right, this one. And what is a wind instrument? Yes, this one. And now try to get what instrument is a string instrument. Yeah, this one. Do you know that music has different styles? You have to watch the following video presentation and try to explore more information about that. Music styles. There are different music styles. The first one is blues, electronic music, R&B, jazz, metal, pop, rock, and classical. Now you have to say, an art music produced or rooted in the traditions of Western music is called classical, a style of music that was created by African Americans in the southern US and the often expressed feelings, it's blues, a type of American music with lively rhythms and melodies that are often made up by musicians at the play, it's, of course, jazz.
People say that music is a universal language, but it can often be hard to find the words to describe it, especially for those who lack formal education in music theory. But your passion counts too. Here are some tips on how to describe your favorite song. And now how to describe a song. The first step is very easy one. Identify what genre you are describing. Is it classical, rock or jazz? Knowing this will help get you started. If nothing else, you can describe a song simply by its genre. Step 2. Do some background research on the genre and the artist composer. Learn the etymology and keep interesting ideas. Step 3. Pay attention to how the song makes you feel. It's an ambient dance song. Is it a slow or quick, heartbreaking song? Or is it very interesting? And step 4. Read music magazines. Good readers make a good writer. If you want to learn how to properly describe a song, learn from the experts. Reading their review section of the magazines also very important. Okay, you have done a lot of work of today. You have boosted your English vocabulary about music, of course. Have successful English classes, take care and goodbye.